Hi everyone, Jenna here from Windy Hill on the campus. This is a joining Zoom meetings tutorial. I'm going to show you how to get into those Zoom meetings that you've been hearing so much about. They're not, I guess, technically meetings for us, more, more like um, classes because they're the exercise classes that we've been having and we've been doing them through Zoom. Okay, so to access these Zoom meetings, one of the ways to do that is to go to Windy Hill site, windyhillonthecampus.org, and type enter. Once you get to our Windy Hill website, you can go to upcoming events in the top menu. And you will scroll down and you'll see that I have links here for here's the Zoom class. This one's um, Facebook Live, so that takes you directly to our Facebook page. Um, but a majority of these classes are Zoom classes. Once you click on that specific link, it'll take you directly to that class. I have set up a test class so you can see what it will look like when you go to get on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click that and you'll see that automatically what pops up is that um, it's launching. Do you want to open Zoom meetings? And yes, you do. So you're going to go ahead and click open Zoom meetings. And then you will have this pop up saying, do you want others to hear you or not? Well, sure you do. So you're going to go ahead and click on join with computer audio. And then at that point, you will have the video screen pop up in front of you. And you will see that I am able to talk. Um, I do not have my video started, though. Um, actually, my home computer here that I'm working on, I don't know that it has that ability. And no, it, it says it doesn't. So, um, But some of you probably do have the ability to do video. So you would just click here and that would automatically allow your video to get started. Um, but anytime you see that little X mark, or that little hash mark, that means that you are not using that currently. So I'm not currently using video. And if I click on this, I am now muted. So no one would be able to hear me. When you're in these classes, you want to be muted um, unless you are asking a question at the end of the class or before the class starts, if the instructor gets on and wants to talk to you guys. But during the class, it's best not to talk because they're trying to run a class. So if you have questions or something, you could always use this little chat function at the bottom. When you click on that uh, group chat thing will pop up over here. And you can choose who you are asking that question to, everyone in the meeting. That's the only, th any, only option right now that pops up because uh, I'm the only one in the meeting and the meeting hasn't even started yet. Um, so let me hop on and I'll show you um, what it looks like when there's more than one person in a meeting. Okay, now I joined the meeting and I joined it over um, on my, sorry, I had to change the uh, sound there so you can hear a little bit better. But I joined the meeting on my other computer so I can see you over there. Um, and I have it on my other computer as well. So there are now two people participating in the class. You can see it says Tracy Haper, which is the account that I'm logged in on, and myself. So if you want to then go here and chat, you can choose to chat just to Tracy or to everyone in the meeting. Um, and you can also do something called gallery view up here in the top. If you click on that, that will show everybody who is currently in the class with you. So that's a great option if you want to be able to see some of your friends. Um, one of the problems though with that is you might not be able to see the instructor very well. So what you're gonna wanna do is whoever the instructor is, most likely this is what you wanna do, you are going to want to go to speaker view probably. If Tracy was the instructor for this class, I would then want to go up here, actually pin myself, hold on one second.
Okay, so whoever the instructor is, you're going to want to probably pin them is what it's called, so that um, whenever the speaker is the one that's is talking, that person automatically becomes big on the screen usually. And in order to avoid that, because sometimes people start talking and asking questions and then the screen gets big really quick and it is actually a picture of someone who's not the instructor. So then it gets really confusing. So in order to avoid that, what you're going to want to do is go into these little, this little three button. You see that three dots. If you click on that, you can pin video. And that makes that person stay large on the screen. And you can still see the other people in the group, but they're along the top instead of being like becoming big all the time whenever you're in a meeting. And that can get kind of frustrating, um, which is another reason why we try not to talk during the class. Um, some of the instructors actually make it so that um, make it so that everybody's muted except for them. So that doesn't happen, and uh, you can unmute yourself sometimes if you have an emergency or something that you need to talk to them. But realistically, you really shouldn't be interrupting the instructor um, unless there is some sort of emergency. So um, that is the way to access the meeting. You can also make it larger by using this Maximize button up at the top, and that will maximize it and make it take up... Um, your whole screen at that point. So it'll look more like that, where it, your whole screen is taken up and you don't see any of the stuff behind it. You can also choose to close out the group chat if you have that open and now this is large again. Um, you can unpin the video if you'd like, and then that brings it back to whoever's talking will be the large person in the, in the middle. Um, it is best though, if you do have that instructor pinned with using those um, three little dots so that, um, so you can see them at all times. So really, that is as easy as it is to get on Zoom. When you are done, you will just hit end at the bottom. You see the end pops up. And when you click on that, that ends your portion of the meeting. You, you are leaving the meeting at that point. You can also, if you'd like, give reactions like a hand clap or a thumbs up if there's something that happens um, and you think it's great and you want the instructor to know that it's great, you can use that um, capability also. So um, hopefully that is helpful and you have a little bit of a better understanding now how to use the Zoom meetings for our exercise classes. If you have any problems with how to um, sign up for the classes on Copilot. I also created some tutorials on how to do that. So you'll want to check those out so that you're also registering on Copilot and we have record of you taking the class. If you have any questions about how to do any of this, feel free to reach out. We're here for you and we want to help you and we want to make this virtual experience as easy as possible for you. You can email us, you can call us, Facebook Messenger us, and you can also talk to us during the drive through takeout service. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great weekend.